power of curves turn them off and on completely changes and makes the edit this one right here so we have the raw unedited image and we're trying to recreate the exact that he has on his feed so if we look at his feed you can straight away tell like that how lifted the shadows are so the black point and the curves is going to be especially important most people would make this blend in with the background here of pure black extremely lifted and then uh you'll see that the highlights are not key characteristics to a style is that it's very faded there is a lot of blue tones so the image is very cool so split toning there especially in the highlights quite a few orange tones that we really bring out throughout his entire feed and you'll see in this image that we do do that as well also if you like his style and he has all the information you need about his presets uh, what you get and then just another thing about his style quite often landscape photographers are shooting at f4 f7 all the time but something i noticed he's shooting maybe at 2.8 and then just like really focusing in on one particular part of the landscape or the image all right all right so here's the image from his instagram the edited version and we've got the raw unedited one over here four by five just bringing it down a bit not too much to it down in the bottom is more interesting as you will see as we get further into this edit so where to start we obviously need a lot of detail like we were very underexposed overall exposure but not too high and now it's looking a little too bright out back so something along the lines of bringing down the highlights we need to see a lot more in the shadows um, more punch to the whites as you can see if they're down or in the middle there they're just really flattened you can you can just really see that makes a really big difference so a lot of punch to those whites and then the highlights it's just like a lot of detail and the shadows awesome i like to think in terms of detail i can see with the sliders and then uh, with the curves you'll see how much of a role they play in this as well so i'm going to bring down the contrast to soften it because i'm going to show you exactly what the curves are doing and what i mentioned at the start on his instagram page he's got so much fade in especially the shadows but also the highlights so especially especially the shadows here at the bottom here and then in the other curves it's just really adding in contrast there's not a major color shift there so um yeah just a really strong s curve and then there's not much of a roll off to the highlights which you would probably expect it's all done with the slider for highlights it gets a long way pretty similar to doing a flattening of the curve there so if i turn the curves on and off you can see how big a difference that's making here's a quite a different texture to his images so a strong amount of texture and then very soft and glowy images but like a bit of extra con uh clarity i think doesn't look too bad i think some a lot of people like that but we're gonna go this way so this is the image we're going to recreate here and if you guys want all of these images you see down here on your lightroom with the settings already done for you in your lightroom application this is the best way to learn to look at the settings that are already complete for you or that have been taught to you and then you can see why we make adjustments why shift the white balance versus say split toning how to balance colors and having these raw images with the settings already done for you by these extremely talented photographers is actually how i learned very quickly because through these youtube tutorials i got sent these images and that's how i got very good at editing so now within the course applying this method of learning where you get the raw image you get the settings and you follow along step by step because i find just having just buying someone's presets is very very limiting without that raw image without the step-by-step -step process on how to do it you are guaranteed to get the exact same results as over a hundred talented photographers and then you get the perfectly edited image in your lightroom catalog for future use so i recommend you doing what i did and is create a collection very easy to do you just click here and create a collection of images and i've got one here from all the guest editors within the course and then you never ever delete the final edits because they're extremely valuable they they're better than presets because you can just copy the settings and then you apply it onto another image and 
far more useful than presets because you you have a very good understanding on the intent of the style you're trying to achieve when you do it like this you know exactly the mood the lighting um, and how the final image could look we are flying a lot more blind with just presets so we've had a few really talented wedding photographers hey join guys, recently so these images I for example where you get step-by-step -step process on how to edit these and you follow along with the raw image. So another reason why this is so useful for learning is because in section four is where all the guest editors are. So this is where you get the raw image, you get the preset and you follow along with a hundred really talented photographers, get the exact same result. In section one, two and three, I teach you everything I know about editing, everything you need. So once you've gone through these two, three sections, you will be be able to follow these really talented photographers with multiple different styles and understand what they are doing because i have taught you in depth about color curves the tools everything i know about how i know to do these youtube tutorials for example and then not only that we go and break down these guest editors as well like go into depth on what makes their style unique the key things to watch out for or what they did and we go in and analyze them a bit more so valuable lessons in there as well so the main difference between the youtube tutorials and the course is the level of depth and detail come over to muntrader.com and you can come check out all the images that we go through in the course the testimonials um, free to our live training over here a you know, one hour color master class here and then if you come down to this section this is where you can come and watch all the guest editors that uh, teach within the course and yeah i'll link it down in the description and you can see how much of our edit is done already um white balance is pretty good but we're gonna drop the temperature especially because if we look say at this lamp pillows here here it's a lot cooler in his edit kind of works with the moody vibe a bit more as well uh, and just what we should have done a little further back was enable profile corrections so that plays a really big role especially in the lines and the vignetting and then we'll come in with a vignette just because the center of the image is the most important thing lots of shadows kind of add to the image anyway because it's a shadowy moody vibe so a vignette kind of helps in two ways uh, midpoint is how narrow you want it and then highlights is a good one slide it all the way up often but it's not really affecting anything in this image and just leaves the highlights alone uh, while we're down here we don't need grain we'll just jump into the shadows and you can see there's a bit more warmth and i think it will complement the cool white balance we gave it you look closely into his shadows here our ones are quite a bit cooler it's reasonably subtle we will increase the amount the saturation five and then if i show you the before and after of that just slightly warms up the image in the shadows and our image looks maybe too cold like this but then the warm shadows balances it out now if we jump into hsl so this is a lot of just fine tuning sort of stuff so like these greens are really standing out in the image so maybe you want to drop them just so they're not overly powerful oranges if you slide them back and forth sometimes you'll you'll just see uh what looks best yellows not many yellows in this purples looks as though they should be down um, and then oranges should they be more of a red or more of a yellow go a bit more towards the red slightly uh aqua so the ground mostly is what it's affecting we'll just drop that um, purples not really the hues of the blues is probably the most important thing so if we just look out the window we've got a lot more aqua compared to purple in his so if we just go this way you can see that yellows uh top left sort of is where i see it and then luminance the brightness of colors colors so this is another good one just to play with uh the oranges is a good color to make pop so the brightness of the oranges is um the wood there green make the green shine and then outside the blue give it a bit of a shine and pop everything that's blue blue is kind of the light shining in so kind of looks nice enhanced okay so last thing is going to be some filters so this filter here just a little bit of exposure okay so it's already done so as you can see over in his up 
I think it makes a really big difference to the image. This um, just cause it is an interesting part of the image. The floor there, we reset as before. After 18 millimeters, so really wide, 2.8, reasonably dark, ISO, low ISO, no need for a high ISO at 2.8, which gets us enough light. And then a shutter, 200, which is plenty for a sharp image. So maybe could have gone for F4, but I kind of like the softness to the foreground and then the softness into the background with the lamp here in focus. But he does like a very smooth image. So I'll actually come down to noise reduction and just do a bit of that for an exceptionally smooth image way underexposed exposing for the highlights and then bringing them all back out and post the power of curves turn them off and on completely changes and makes the edit um, really smoothing it out giving it a really unique texture to the image come over to mountaintrader.com and you can come check out all the images that we go through in the course the testimonials um, free two hour live training over here a one hour color master class here i just thought everything looked fake everything looked crap my photos felt a bit generic they felt a bit formulaic i was like anti-editing basically you distilled the formula mm -hmm.